to Pluto and beyond. Nearly two years after its historic encounter with the dwarf planet Pluto, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft is getting ready for its next big adventure in the icy outskirts of the solar system. Now, the spacecraft is on its way to a small, ancient object located about 1 billion miles, 1.6 billion kilometers, beyond Pluto in the Cooper Belt. This distant region surrounds the solar system and is filled with trillions of icy rocks that have yet to be explored. The new target was discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope in June 2014, and it was dubbed 2014 Microns 69. Pluto, which officially lost its planetary status shortly after New Horizons launched in 2006, is also a Cooper Belt object, KBO, and the largest of its kind. New Horizons became the first spacecraft to visit the Pluto system when the probe flew by the dwarf planet and its moons on July 14, 2015. A world of discoveries it took the spacecraft about 16 months to beam back all of its data from the Pluto flyby, and planetary scientists have hit a ball with that data. The New Horizons flyby of the Pluto system was completely successful, and now we've got all the data on the ground and we're putting about around it, Alan Stern, the New Horizons principal investigator at Southwest Research Institute, said in a Facebook Live event on Thursday, January 19th. Thanks to New Horizons, scientists now have a global map of Pluto and the most detailed images yet of the dwarf planet's bazaar. New Horizons additionally beamed back a gorgeous photo of a huge, heart-shaped basin, unofficially called Tombaregio that quickly became Pluto's most famous feature, taking the internet by storm and gracing the front page of hundreds of newspapers worldwide. The New Horizons science team has said Pluto's heart seems to indicate the presence of a subsurface ocean. The Pluto flyby also provided an opportunity to study Pluto's moons, particularly Charon. Researchers discovered that Charon and Pluto are both tidally locked, meaning the same side of the moon always faces the dwarf planet and vice versa. As a result, Pluto's heart is always facing Charon. A giant red spot discovered on Charon's surface revealed that the moon is taking some of its atmosphere from Pluto. One thing that we discovered is that small planets can be just as complex as big planets, and that really blew away our expectations, Stern said, adding that all the new findings from Pluto whet our appetite for future exploration of the Cooper Belt.